8 million Americans suffer from anorexia or bulimia, diseases with the highest mortality rates of any mental illness. 20% of people with anorexia will die prematurely. 95% of those with eating disorders are between 12 and 25. So why are young people killing themselves to be thin? Scientists are still learning about the biological causes, but we do know there are social and emotional factors, from low self-esteem to a culture that's obsessed with a perfect body. We also know that eating disorders affect minorities and men. brainwashed society to believe thinness equals beauty, eating disorders have become society's new diet plan. The Western culture links appearance with success, allowing more people to fall under the spell of malnutrition. Women and men self-esteem decreases from the unreachable standards set by the media, keeping some of society oppressed. The media tries to convince society to believe an eating disorder is a personal problem rather than a social problem, forcing the less educated, naive youth to become victimized by unrealistic standards. Sickness, feeling nauseous, sleeps on her back cause she's cautious. Give life or take life, that's her only options. Only if she had a magic wand, she go back to that night and put her clothes back on. But she can't change time, or what's growing inside. How could she love something that's barely alive? Her body's aching, shaking from sweaty palms and cold sweats. Mentally exhausting like phone sex. No regrets, life or death is my stakes. Just 
think the confusing thing about eating disorders and this idea of choice versus illness is that we see people choose to go on a diet. We see people choose to start exercising and over-exercise. So we see choices that individuals make. And then we, we ultimately end up thinking that because they made those choices, they're at fault for developing an eating disorder. And what you have to begin to separate is there are behavioral choices that people make. Someone can make a behavioral choice to start smoking cigarettes. But by the time they develop lung disease, it has to be treated. It's a legitimate illness. And you have to stop thinking about all those choices that they made and just start looking at helping them with the lung disease and helping them maybe stop smoking, like helping people stop dieting. But there's the disease issue and the choice issue. They're both important. We already know in terms of prevention that the only prevention programs that have shown to be uh, effective are the ones that are dealing with helping young girls increase their self-esteem and their body esteem. What works is teaching people to love their bodies, teaching people to love themselves, and then when the media is saying, you know, starve, you should look like this, that young girl can say, forget it. The Media Watchdog Program developed by the National Eating Disorders Association strives to improve the media's messages about size, weight, and beauty. The program supporters consist of students, educators, health professionals, parents, eating disorder sufferers, and concerned consumers. Together they stand up against the media's unrealistic standards, pushing the media to put out healthy, positive messages. Softer. It really works.